Once a month or so, we convince healthy, happy chef Gary Steele to leave his comfy houseboat, especially when the Fraser River is rising, and pay us a visit in Studio 4. It is my pleasure to welcome Chef Steele back to Studio 4 with a One Planet catering cart. I do. I have a cart. Or something like that. I have a cart. My new baby. We'll get to it really? in one second. Just tell me new. about that. I right? will. I promise. I promise. Okay, I'll tell you about that. It's not just a prop? It's not a prop. It's just a ploy to get my logo on telly. It's just free advertising. <laughs> free advertising, God love You're it. You're very smart. So today we're going to make uh, hummus. And it was funny because I was talking to the producer, Ian, when we decided we were going to do hummus. And I said, we'll do a couple of varieties and we'll have some fun with it. And it but the discussion was, is it hamai or hummus? Do you oh, know? Did you do hummus. your diligence? And they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Uh, I, I was love hummus. About, yes, it's I, Greek. I love. Or yes. is it Lebanese? Actually, or well, okay. It? So very interesting. Oh, Fanny, beautiful segue. It's almost like we'd rehearsed. Into the. Um, we didn't. Blender. No, we didn't. <laughs> we never do. <laughs> Into the blender went um, the two cups of uh, chickpeas. Hummus, actually, in ancient and, and we're talking millennia. Mm. Um, hummus, chickpeas, were eaten by Egyptians originally. It, hummus itself was only recorded as a written recipe in 1955. Right, so Cleopatra said, peel me a garbanzo. Yeah, she meant, mm. get that boy out of here. Get that boy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, they've been eating chickpeas, chickpeas, lemon, and tahini mm. for a long, long time, but they had never pureed it. And that was a couple of hundred years ago they started puring it. Okay. Tahini, they, I'm using this beautiful organic tahini, and it's just easier for you to get uh, tahini than to do it because tahini, what tahini is, is it's the sesame seeds. It's sesame seed peanut butter is basically what it is. But you take the, um, we need about a half a cup of tahini in there. Okay, is it good just on toast or something? I love tahini on toast warm. Really? I love it. Yeah, I love it. Really it would love be it. good for you. It's really, it's really good for you. Seeds in it. And what they do is they crush the sesame seeds, they put them in salted water. The husks sink and the um, kernels float and they skim them off and that's what makes the tahini so right. that you don't have the crunchy skin on the outside. It's all, uh, and, th and that's how they, they produce it. It's really, really easy. We're going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there. Okay. To make it. Uh, For usual, I'm helping. Yes, you're doing a beautiful job. <laughs> um, so, How did you get a lemon with no seeds? Uh, oh, there no, are there are seeds. seeds in there. Okay. Yeah, there are seeds in there. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze it into the bowl. Uh, see, I got one there. Right. Uh, just so I can pick them out because they'll be annoying within the food process. My beautiful brand new food processor, I want you to know because I left the house this morning. And as you beautifully mentioned, I do live on a floating home now. And, uh, yes, on the Fraser on River. On the Fraser River. And I uh, was in, uh, on the Portman Bridge and it dawned on me. Gary, you didn't bring the uh, food processor. So thank God for a well-known um, chain of supermarkets that was open. <laughs> I went really? and bought one. You bought Seriously, a food, food you processor did? this morning, yeah. What Isn't it pretty? What do you do for this show, I'm I'll tell telling you, you. I have never touched wood, You're probably never sending had a, a, moment. a bill to Mr. Shaw or something. No, you, just, just well, you, me. not Mr. Fine. Shaw. No, we're not gonna do that. Uh, is that a good food processor or just a makeshift? Well, it works. <laughs> it works. Let's just go with it works. Okay, <laughs> turn power button on, don't forget yes. that. Yes, oh, 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 look, see now she's making me nervous with instructions. Okay, I'll pick I'm, it up, I'm not hucking the garlic around. We're going to put two... I'm just down here getting the garlic. Garlic. <laughs> it seriously is the only thing you've done in the 10 years we've been cooking I together. Well, that's, I don't know how clean It took you five is. years to eat five my years. food. <laughs> I know. Can we use this or should we wash it? No. Well, it's, no, we can use that I'll because it's in a it. skin and uh, we'll peel it. Oh, okay. we'll, we'll use it and we'll peel it. So in here is two cloves of garlic. I want to tell you about these vegetables. Um, Whole Foods, again, excellent, excellent company. Love them, love them, love them. And um, we're uh, just partnering up again to uh, continue our, our partnership with Whole Foods. So all of the uh, vegetables, lid, all of the vegetables are real <laughs> from Whole Foods, but these I'm glad you thought of the lid. lid. <laughs> now, um, now here, here, let's see if it actually works. Oh. And quiet. Amazing. Whisper quiet. Isn't it, is. it lovely? Maybe so you we're can leave that behind. I don't have one of those. You don't have, uh, actually no. what I'm gonna do is pulse it. Um, the, uh, uh, what you want to do is you want to make the chickpeas a really nice kind of creamy. Mm. Now, if it's a little bit thick, two things you can do is add a little bit of water, right. a little bit of um, uh, uh, oil, olive oil, or a little bit of 
uh, lemon juice. I'm going to pour in some of this beautiful golden Eleni olive oil that yes. we've been using. It is that lovely. Gorgeous stuff that uh, I know. Basil gorgeous. goes to um, uh, Greece and gets. And they make a soap. Yes. The soap was just. I know it's soap. great. You didn't leave so, it. <laughs> I, want, I want to tell you about these vegetables. They come from the inner city farmers. And inner city, inner city farmers have 17 gardens mm. around the east end of Vancouver. Really? They farm 17 gardens. They farm them and um, uh, they produce really unusual vegetables. But what's really cool about Do them... Do they so, live in the houses where they farm? No. So they I'm go confused. to people's houses and they, if, you, if you are elderly or you're infirm or whatever and you can't garden, they will offer to take over your garden. They will grow vegetables. They'll feed mm. you because of the donation of their garden. Each week you'll get a big bucket of vegetables. And it's all organic, but they're unusual, like white ping pong ball radishes. No red on this radish at all, white ping pong. Kohlrabis, this is, we're gonna use this. this um, what is that, a baseball, squash? Uh, no, it's a cucumber. Zucchinis, oh. just some gorgeous, gorgeous things. That's a um, fat cucumber. It is a little bit of a fat cucumber. Yes, it is. I'm going to put a little bit of water into our um, uh, uh, hummus, and uh, that will make it cream right up. See that go. This okay. is Whole Foods, actually carbonated lemon. And you'll be oh, going, so you put carbonated why did you put carbonated hummus? lemon in it? it? Seriously, just to give it a little life, a little lift. Oh. And uh, it does a beautiful job. Now. The uh, the vegetables. I might... just put vodka in my carbonated you just... water. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about You're happy putting it when in. It's like that. Putting it in the hummus. The hummus. So once it's um, done, I'm going to take some out because what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a couple of varieties. So this is just plain basic hummus. We'll put this into our bowl. Easy to make. And I'm going to make this seriously. It was lemon juice. It was tahini. It was chickpeas and a little bit of water, a little bit of oil, salt, pepper. And some garlic. And we're done, and, and some garlic, we're done. You did add that garlic. I did, Fine. I promise I did. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put inside um, some roasted, sorry, I missed the camera there, some roasted uh, caramelized onions and mm. uh, yellow peppers that I roasted mm. last night and so they've chilled down. So we're gonna, cause you know you're finding these peppered hummus all over the stores and stuff. So yeah. this will show you. All you do is chop these up nice and small and um, saute them for a good long period of time. These sauteed for half an hour. Right, so, or you can add spinach. Yeah, spinach, um, anything really. Is, really. Is anything you want to do. What Even hot things like uh, jalapenos, all of those kind of things are amazing in okay. this hummus. So uh, this will be our second variety that we're going to make. Again, just really creamy, really simple. I love this food processor. I can't tell you how happy I am about this well, food processor. Well, that's good. <laughs> See how I because if it, it hadn't morning. worked, you would have been doing a lot of mashing. <laughs> I know, with a fork. That's what I said <laughs> yes. to David in the car. I went, okay, well, I could press it with a fork, but Perhaps. we're really not going to well, do that. Well, I know you've had a tough that. time in the Fraser River because uh, oh, the river has been rising Fanny, and that houseboat has been rocking. Just crazy, really crazy. Um, I'll tell you about it one second, actually, and I've got a second log under the house now. It's just insane. And I had a, a fight log? with my insurance. I had two, one log, eight in my house. Some of this beautiful golden Eleni olive oil on yes. top, just a drizzle. And then we're going to dress it with these um, vegetables. Are, so they, just are the white radishes as uh, sharp as the red um, ones or purple ones? Are they yeah, taste they're all different? Equivalent. They taste no, the same? No, they taste the same. Um, they're beautiful. What I like doing with them is because they come with the... the tops and tails on. I just like to take the tail off. I've washed these um, and I just like to take the tails off. And then what I like to do is I like to half them with the stalk still on there. Oh, pretty. Because that then becomes your tool to lift it with. Of course. So you can use it to... Um, well, you know, the French put butter on radishes. Yes, I love oh. them. I love them. I just know. love them. Um, and so I'm going to put them in the bowl beside it. I'm going to, oh, well, why don't I dress this one? I'll tell you about the vegetables, because I want to tell you about the vegetables and the reason my cart. Okay. These veg arrive at my um, a kitchen, the One Planet kitchen, uh, from the gardens via bike power. So the, this cart goes to the garden, gets filled with the vegetables, and the man who grows them drives this cart back really? to my kitchen. So it's like your organic rickshaw. Uh, it is exactly sort of. what it is. Yes. And then um, we cook it with no paper, plastic, or foam in the kitchen. And then we deliver it to guests on the back of a bike. So the, the cart actually becomes, and what happens is I'll show you uh, this. Rain or snow. <laughs> rain, well, hail, sleet Rain, or hail, snow. sleet or yeah. snow like the. And in this, if I can just put that in front of you. In sure. that box, 
is how it gets delivered. So that's what comes out of my cart with the fruits and the vegetables oh, great. in it. So it's totally sustainable. Totally sustainable. No most papers, amazing. none no of that. Paper, and no... I'm assuming you take this back. Yes. So after somebody has supped. They they have had their beautiful lunch and they take it back. Yeah. Good touch. We go the back turtles. and yeah, the turtles are a calming touch. That's, yeah. We put them the salt in there. and pepper. And we put them in there. Oh, as they a even have a touch. spot. Yes. Oh my. Where I actually said that we should put on the bottom of it pinched from um, pinched One from Planet <laughs> Catering. Oh, I want to show you yeah. this cucumber. This cucumber is really lovely. Um, okay. This is a, a, a cucumber that has a really tough outer skin and it's kind of bitter. But the inside of this cucumber is beautifully watery and moist. So, so peel here's it. My no. Here's my tip. Don't peel it because that would be the obvious thing to do is don't peel it. But don't put it into sticks either. So. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to quarter it and create four big sticks, which I just said don't do. And right. then I'm going to slice it into wedges and right. use it. So when you dip it into the um, hummus, use the skin as your tool to hold it. Right. And then just dip it in and eat that way. Why not? And then you've got a, a little thing That's to hold it That's the artist in you. I, I would know, just peel I'm it. I'm just creative. I can't, you know, what <laughs> I can I know. Say? But so, you say the skin's, it's bitter. What if you have a guest who doesn't know the drill? Yes, that, that's the excitement of food, though. That's what I love exactly. about food. That's one of that's the things beautiful. I love. Really, I, I love this. healthy. What's the bread about? The bread is a flat Lebanese bread. Excuse me, just putting that down on the floor. That's um, fine. This is a flat Lebanese bread, and um, I love this bread because it is light. You saw me tearing it at the beginning. It's really light. Don't bring it out of the packet too right. far in advance. And in fact, the boys to go and get good bread, good flat bread, are the Bakestone brothers. Those are the organic boys we had on last right. time. And they have beautiful, Do they make the little baby uh, pitas? Yes, they the make pitas? the little baby pitas. Now, okay, we have our burgers on those now. Yes. So there's not too much bun. And, there's, and they've now made a bigger bun. So I'm going to take these hazelnuts, BC hazelnuts. This is, you, you were like Gary, hazelnuts on hummus. But right. here's the thing I want to do. I want to show you how to changed how we're eating and just put a little fun and excitement in there. Take the... Hey, don't put those in my hummus. Your, in your section. Of the, in my section. Take the, um, the beautiful uh, BC hazelnuts and just drop them oh, over lovely. there. Good touch. Take a few bits you of You could use almonds or almonds, any anything. Nut, right? And what I like about it, I mean, obviously, if you have nut allergies, etc., you know, try and avoid uh, try things like that. Try not to kill the guests. Yes. But the point is, you didn't hide them in the hummus? No. So no, they're on. Know. People see it. They know what's going on. Yeah, they're, they're able to... Uh, beautiful. I love these little yellow yeah. summer squash. Little patty. Oh, I just patty love squashes. them. Little zucchini babies. Really All stunning. Good. Really, really nice light uh, lunch. And just again, just a tiny drizzle of that golden Eleni olive oil. Okay. Organic. Looks delicious. Your hardly wait. 100%. And thanks for the prawns. We didn't even get to the prawns. Okay. BC spot prawns. I brought in, just cooked them and they're right. chilled and put in there. Stunning right now. I know. And if you pinch the tail, It'll the prawn comes right out. out. Right out. Right? I learned that yep. from you. Right out. Great yes. chef. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Nice to see you again. You. I hope your uh, houseboat stops it's rocking. Be fine. It's going to mm -hmm. be fine. Uh, chef Gary Steele and recipes from today's show, of course, uh, WholeFoods.com or Studio4.ca.